it will not be an exaggerated statement if we say that a nation's prosperity is also dependent on the availability of water. India is well equipped with different sources of water. Apart from the rain, Indian rivers drain the large part of the area and helps in development purposes. Let us learn about the drainage systems of Indian rivers. Indian river system is broadly divided into two groups, the Himalayan river system and peninsular river system. The rivers of Himalayan river system drain the northern region of the country. These rivers are snow fed and thus have perennial flow of water. Himalayan river system is itself subdivided into Indus river system and Ganga Brahmaputra river system. The Indus river system. It is one of the largest river basins of the world covering a length of 2880 kilometers of which in India lies 1114 kilometers. It is also known as Sindhu. It originates from a glacier in Kailasha mountain near Mansarovar lake in the Tibet plateau. Following west, it enters India in the Ladakh district of Jammu and Kashmir. Then it cuts across the Ladakh range and enters into Pakistan. The river flows southward and it is joined by the Satluj, the Bias, the Ravi, the Chenab and the Jhelum near Mithankot. It finally discharges into the Arabian Sea. A little over a third of the Indus Basin is located in India, in the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Punjab. The Ganga River System The Ganga is the most important river of India. The length of the Ganga River is 2,525 kilometers, out of which 2,415 kilometers is in India. It originates from the Gangotri Glacier near Gaumuk. Here it is known as the Bhagirathi. The river acquires its name after its head streams Alaknanda and Bhagirathi that unite at Deva Prayag. At Haridwar, the Ganga emerges from the mountain on the plains. Then it is joined by many tributaries such as Yamuna, the Ghagra, the Gandak, the Kosi, the Chambal, the Betwa and the Son. It flows eastward till Faraka in West Bengal where the river bifurcates into two tributaries namely the Bhagirathi which flows southwards into Bangladesh and is joined by the Brahmaputra river. It is known as Meghna and the Bhagirathi flows through the deltaic plains to the Bay of Bengal. The Brahmaputra river system. The Brahmaputra, one of the largest rivers of the world, has its origin in the Chema Yongdung glacier in Kailasa range near the Mansarovar lake. From here, it flows eastward parallel to the Himalayas, where it is known as the Songpo, which means the purifier. The Namcha Barwa peak obstructs the flow of the river and forces it to take a U-turn, thereby the river enters India in Arunachal Pradesh through a deep gorge. In this region, the river is popularly called the Hang and is joined by rivers Dibang, Lohit and many other tributaries to form the Brahmaputra in Assam. In India, it passes through a region of high rainfall and carries considerable amount of silt then flows southwards. On the way in Assam, it makes Asia's largest river island, Majulai. At the downstream, it confluences with river Ganga and finally pours its waters in the Bay of Bengal. Peninsular Rivers The peninsular drainage system is older than the Himalayan one. The peninsular rivers are mainly rain-fed, thus they have seasonal flow of water. The Mahanadi River System River Mahanadi rises in the highlands of Chhattisgarh, flows through Orissa to reach the Bay of Bengal. The length of the river is about 860 kilometers and it is joined by the Seonath, the Hasdo and Marne. 
The Mahanadi Basin covers parts of Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Orissa. The Godavari River System The Godavari is the largest peninsular river. It rises from the slopes of the Western Ghats in the Nasik district of Maharashtra. Its length is about 1500 kilometers and the Godavari finally meets with the Bay of Bengal. The river is joined by the Purna, the Vardha, the Pranhita, the Manjara, the Vainganga and the Penganga. Godavari Basin covers parts of Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. It is also known as Dakshin Ganga. The Krishna River System The Krishna River rises from a spring near Mahabaleshwar, flows about 1400 kilometers and reaches the Bay of Bengal. It is joined by the Tungabhadra, the Koyana, the Ghat Prabha, the Musi and the Bhima. The Krishna Basin covers parts of Maharashtra, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. The Kaveri River System The Kaveri rises in the Brahmagiri range of the Western Ghats, flows for about 760 kilometers and reaches the Bay of Bengal. It is joined by the Kabini, the Suvarnavati, Bhavani and Amravati, the Hemvati and Arkvati. The Kaveri Basin covers parts of Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. The Narmada River System It rises near Amarkantak Hills in Madhya Pradesh. Flows westward for a distance of 1300 kilometers to finally empty itself in the Arabian Sea. The Narmada Basin covers parts of Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. The Tapi River System the Tapi rises in the Satpura Ranges in the Bitu district of Madhya Pradesh, flows westwards for 724 kilometers in a rift valley parallel to the Narmada. The Tapi finally meets with the Arabian Sea. The Tapi Basin covers parts of Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and Maharashtra. Role of Rivers in Economy Rivers form one of the most distinctive features of India. Amongst its many geographical marvels, at the same time, they also carry a wider significance in cultural, economical, geographical as well as religious developments. The rivers in India are considered as god and goddesses. Rivers have been of fundamental importance throughout the human history. Water from the river is a basic natural source. Using rivers for irrigation, navigation, hydropower generation is of special significance leading to flourishing Indian economy. River pollution Rapid urbanization and industrialization led to discharge of solid, chemical and other pollutants into the river water. Pollution is created due to the untreated sewage and industrial effluents, excessive use of pesticides and fertilizers emptied into the rivers. Such adverse practices have destroyed the natural ecology of rivers and affected the biotic life that is supported by the rivers.